Hey there, I'm Carly Lamb, Senior Mobile and Full Stack Web Engineer at Avron Software. We're going to be digging into accessibility and React Native applications, and today specifically on accessibility labels and how important they could be for users using assistive technology. According to the World Health Organization, over a billion people worldwide live with some form of disability that impacts how they're interacting with technology. So failing to focus on accessibility is limiting your audience for your application. Not only that, but using accessibility labels also improves your SEO, as search engines like Google typically index your content using those accessibility labels. So not only is there a significant moral impact, but there's also a great business impact. It also boosts your user retention. When thinking about accessibility whenever you code, you're making your content more easy to use for all users, regardless of ability. So today we're gonna to be digging into a simple to do application, adding accessibility labels, roles, and hints, and seeing how much this impacts users using assistive technology. Okay, so here we can see we have a simple to do application. And in this to do application, we can see we've got a, a title, it says to do list, we've got a task input, and we have an add task button and a simple privacy policy link at the bottom. So let's add a couple tasks to our to-do list and see how this works. Let's say today we need to clean the car, um, we need to pick up some eggs, and we need to walk the dog. Perfect. We've got a small to-do list going here. We can also edit them. So I had a little typo here, and I click Save, and I can see that that updates. I can also delete items from my list. And after I complete an item on my to-do list, I can check it off so I know that I've completed it or uncheck as needed. So overall, this is a very simple application. As a user, I'd really have no questions on how to use it. Seems very straightforward. However, users using assistive technologies, it may not be as straightforward. So today we're gonna to be testing using a screen reader and seeing how a user using a screen reader would be able to use this application. If you're using Android, you'll use a technology called TalkBack. iOS uses one called VoiceOver. To test your application using VoiceOver on a Mac, all you have to do is press Command F5. After you press Command F5, it's going to prompt you to enable VoiceOver. And then from there, you just use the control option and the arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate through your application. So let's go ahead and try this out with our application. If you can't hear it, you can see here exactly what my VoiceOver will be telling me is on the screen. To do list, text. You are currently on a text element. Okay, so it let me know the text on it, um, but I don't necessarily know the map of this application, right? I don't know where this text is or what is the meaning of it. Next, let's take a look at that task input. Task, insertion at beginning of text, edit text. You are currently on a text field. To enter text in this field, type. Okay, so let me know that it's a text field and it let me know that I need to type in this text field. However, I don't necessarily know what it is that I need to type in here. Now this is a very simple application, so I could assume that what I'm typing in here is a task for my to-do list. However, let's imagine that this is a much more complex application with a long user form with lots of user input. That would be really difficult, if not impossible, for me to get through that application without accessibility. So let's start here and make this application more accessible. So taking a look over at our code, so here's our header here. We're gonna start with a simple accessibility property called the accessibility role. Now what the accessibility role does is it lets us tell the assistive technology what this component is. So in this case, this is our header. This helps the assistive technology convey to the user kind of the map of the application uh, and what the purpose of this text is for. So next, let's take a look at this text input here. First and foremost, let's edit this placeholder. You should always make your placeholders actionable. This makes your user experience seem much more easy to use. So instead of just saying task, let's say add task here. Perfect. Just that one simple step makes our application look much more easy to use. And whenever your application looks more easy to use, you boost user retention. So let's get started with some accessibility labels. First and foremost, any interactive component that you have by default has a property called accessible. And the accessible property takes a Boolean value. And by default, all of these components, these interactive components are set to true. And what this means is that it tells the assistive technology that this is a single interactive unit. Now, since this already has this by default, I don't need to include this. So let's go ahead and get started with some accessibility labels that will help the user. So first and foremost, we're going to add a property called the accessibility label. The accessibility label is gonna override the text that it's supposed to read on here so we can define the element to the user. 
So in this case, we're going to add the task input field so they know that this is the task input field. Additionally, we're going to add another property called the accessibility hint. And the accessibility hint is going to be a little bit more actionable and descriptive than the label is. This will be telling the user how to use this. So we'll say, enter a task for your to-do list here. OK, so let's take a look at our task input now and see as a user if we know how to use this now. Add task here. Insertion at beginning of text. Task input field. Edit text. Enter a task for your to-do list here. You are currently on a text field. To enter text in this field, type. Perfect. So now the screen reader knows exactly how to convey to the user what they need to do and what this is. So as a user, now I know how to use this. OK, let's go ahead and check the next item. Let's look at this Add Task button. Add Task. OK, so it just read the, the text on the button. At this point, I don't even know that this is a button. So let's work our magic and make this more accessible. Taking a look at our code again, so here is our Add Task button. We're using a touchable opacity component. Our screen reader doesn't necessarily know what that is. So let's add an accessibility role here and let it know that this is a button. And next, let's add that accessibility label. And we're going to say that this is the Add Task button. And next, we're going to add the accessibility hint. And in the accessibility hint, we'll say press this to add your task to, to the to-do list. OK, let's check our application now using that screen reader. Add task button. Press this to add your task to to-do list. Perfect. So now our assistive technology lets us know that this is the add task button and exactly how to use it. We press it once we want to add our task to the to-do list. Now let's take a look at our to-do items. Our to-do items are dynamic, right? Because we can check them off or uncheck them as needed. So whenever we go to our to-do item, clean car, it reads the text to me, but I don't necessarily know what to do. I don't know what the status of this is. And that's a very important part of this application, right? That's one of the main functionalities is being able to check items off of our to-do list. So let's make this more accessible. So here's our flat list where we list all of our applications. So let's go to where we render each item. OK, so in our render item, we have this touchable opacity. That's going to be each one of these to do items here because we can click it and it's going to toggle the task completion for us. So here, since we have a specific state, we can use a new accessibility property here called the accessibility state. And here we're going to want a Boolean value here. So let's say checked. And checked is going to be determined by our item's completion status. So in this case, item.completed. Perfect. So let's check our screen reader again. So let's check that item now. Uncheck. Clean car. Perfect. So let me know that it's unchecked. Uh, let's try and check it and see what happens now. Check. Clean car. Awesome. So it's letting me know the status of it. Perfect. I think that we can get a little bit more descriptive with this, make it more accessible, more easy for the user to use. OK, so let's add some more accessibility properties here. Let's add the accessibility label. And for the label, let's use some string interpolation here. Let's say task. And this is the item dot text. So we'll say that this task is marked as and here we'll do a ternary. So if the status is completed, we're going to say complete. Otherwise, we will say incomplete, right? And additionally, let's add that accessibility hint as well. Accessibility hint. Again, we're going to use some string interpolation here. And we're going to say Let's say click this task to mark item.text as item.completed. So in this case, if the item is completed, we want to say incomplete. And if the status is incomplete, then we want to say complete. So they know if they mark it, it'll be the opposite of the current state. So let's check on that now with the screen reader. Check. Task clean car is marked as complete. Click this task to mark clean car as incomplete. Perfect. Very descriptive. It lets me know exactly how to work with it. And I understand completely the state of this item, what it is, and how to interact with it. OK, now let's check on these buttons for the to-do item. Notice the to-do items don't have any text for the screen reader to read. And it doesn't really have a way to decipher what these icons mean necessarily either. So let's see how it reacts. 
nothing. You can see it doesn't even let me know that there's a button there. So let's work our magic and make sure that these buttons are accessible as well. Okay, so we've got this touchable opacity here and here for our edit and delete buttons. So let's get started with some accessibility properties. Let's start out with the accessibility label. And for our accessibility label, we're gonna use some string interpolation here. So it's not just saying edit button. In this case, we wanna say what it is that they'll edit to make this application as easy to use as possible. So we'll say edit the item. And let's add that accessibility hint. And we're gonna say, press this button to edit task item.text. And lastly, let's add an accessibility role and just let the assistive technology know that this is a button. Awesome. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this over to my delete button. But instead of saying edit, we're gonna say delete. Now let's test this out with our accessibility reader. Check. Task clean car is marked as complete. Click this task to mark clean car as incomplete. Edit clean car. Press this button to edit task clean car. Perfect. Delete clean car. Press this button to delete task clean car. Awesome. So now those buttons make complete sense on exactly what they're used for. Now let's check on that privacy policy link. Punch edit by F, delete by X, privacy policy. So it just reads the text for us, similar to how it did with some of these other items. I don't know that this is a hyperlink. Let's add some accessibility properties to that and make it more accessible. So here is the code here for our privacy policy. Again, we've got that touchable opacity. So let's first start by adding an accessibility role. And the role that we're gonna to add to this one is a link. Next, let's add an accessibility label, which will take over the text. It'll overwrite the text that our screen reader reads. And we wanna say, privacy policy link. And lastly, let's add that accessibility hint. All right, let's get our screen reader back up and running. Privacy policy link. Press this to navigate to the privacy policy link. Perfect. So now we know exactly what it is and how to use it. So that's a wrap for our accessibility labels talk. You can see how significant just adding those accessibility labels can be to even the simplest applications like our to-do application. Adding these labels helps users across the globe interact with your applications. Because our goal is to not only build our applications to be compliant, but to be awesome for everyone. Because if it's not awesome for everybody, it's a bug. Thank you guys so much and happy coding.